All right, so hopefully, also checking, wearing out my Knitted Wits sweater. Hopefully the music isn't too loud and I'm not recording it. But today we have a Lion Brand Summer Challenge. Welcome back everybody. It has been a while since I've actually like sat down and like spoken to you guys about some stuff that I've been working on. Normally on my Instagram, so if you aren't following my Instagram, make sure you do. It is at CPT Limon. I post most of my work finished objects there. It's very difficult, please understand. It's very, very difficult sometimes to record the entire process. When I'm just in the moment, I'm literally just in the moment and I'm just crocheting until I pretty much finish the object. It's either two, okay. So either two things happen. Either the first one is that I take a little bit too long to complete a project and it's just very hard for me to have so much video content on my phone or on my computer so that I don't get stressed out as I'm crocheting. I just don't record. Other things are is I usually finish something super, super quick and I forget to record because I'm just in the moment inspired and I just want to get the garment done. So apologies and hopefully you enjoyed this video, which is my comfy cotton challenge. Yeah, so we're doing a comfy cotton Lion Brand yarns challenge. Now, when I went to Joanne's, woo, I would say probably a couple months ago, they were actually putting all of their cotton yarns on sale and I just had to take advantage of that opportunity and I decided to just get as many cotton, I think I had like 20 bucks on me and I was like, let's see, how many, how many yarns, how many skeins of yarns can I get out of 20 bucks? And they had an amazing super, super sale and I managed to get everything in under, I think I paid no more than 350 for each of these balls. So, you know, stuff like this, get ready for this because it's going to look really, really cool. I'm going to combine all of these woolies, uh, what is this, woolies roving stripes. I have tons of that. Uh, I have their summer nights. I have some of their uh, Moroccan nights, which, you know, there is a review on my channel where I already use the Moroccan nights and the sunset at night's color line. They also have some of this uh, boucle all the way. So all of this was really on sale. And this is one of their other new ones, uh, the shiny cotton fee cotton with like a metallic strand going through it. But I just got ton they, all of these tons and tons and tons of yarn. And I really wanted to see how I could incorporate all of them together. And that's where this idea came from. So sit back, relax. Get yourself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and let me go ahead and talk about my process and how I did my garment for this comfy cotton challenge. So I ended up getting a bunch of different cotton yarns uh, because I just wanted to combine them and that's technically what I do. And since the comfy cotton line has been growing this year, uh, between last year and this year, I believe now they have four different kinds of comfy cotton. I don't have them all. I don't think I have the twisted comfy cotton, but I did get the other comfy cottons, which is the comfy cotton Fetty, the comfy cotton. There's a third one where it has like uh, a metallic strand through it. I really was going to use this yellow in it so I could use as many different com comfy cotton lines as I could but it was just clashing a little bit too much with what was going on and I decided to just keep it nice and simple because I would rather keep this aesthetically pleasing to the eye as opposed to doing too much on it. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on real quick and just talk about it a little bit. It is a cape and it has this really nice cabling stitching here and the cool thing about this is that this is actually just front post and back post. So if I like turn it over, you can actually see it does the same thing on the other side. It's literally just front post and back post. And as you are increasing on the yoke, it creates this like slimming effect as it does. So you're technically killing two birds with one stone because it is shrinking. So it gives it that nice little like slimming effect. I made this really, really big and obnoxious. And then I just literally did, I believe it's like double crochet and I alternated between the two colors. And then here is just, uh, I call it diamond stitch. It's probably called something else, but it's like when you put four, usually I only do three double crochets into each strand as I do it. And it creates kind of like a square. But for this one, I actually did four, which is why it kind of looks a little bit longer. And it gives it this nice little, 
I would say kind of like a crooked granny, what is it? Uh, not granny square, but like, um, it's like a crooked triangle shape. And then I went back to doing half double crochet and double crochet with the green and the brown. Nice and simple. I think in total, I only use three different stitches. And I would say this probably took me about a couple weeks to complete, mainly because I just wanted to see, first of all, this cable technique, I was uh, really amazed by it. And by the time I got to the other stuff, I didn't want to compete too much with the stitches down here and take away from up here. Normally when you're creating garments, so normally when you're creating garments like this, you really want to balance out where your eye is looking at it. And if you're gonna have a very dramatic yoke like this, you kind of want to keep things nice and simple here. So that's why I kept it simple with just some straight lines. And I didn't alternate the color here because this is already very colorful in itself. And I just let the color do its thing. And like I said, in total, this is probably less than $15 if you get a good coupon with it. I only use three skeins here and I still have a lot left over. This much left of the cotton fetti, this much left of the comfy cotton, and this much left of the cotton fetti in green. So you definitely, I can definitely make a beanie, which I'm debating if I should make a beanie so that way it goes with the cape. If I do, I'll cut fast forward <laughs> and show you guys doing that. Um, but for right now, uh, it'll be something similar to this. In case you guys are wondering, there is a video, there's a new series that me and my girlfriend are trying to do in which we do a makeup versus yarn challenge. I pick the yarns because I have tons of yarn in my craft room. And she, since she has a lot of makeup, she creates a makeup look based off of the colorways of the yarn that we're doing. So if you are interested in something like that, the video is up on my channel, you guys can see it now. And hopefully you enjoy it. Give it a like and a thumbs up and leave a comment. And yeah, this was what I ended up doing. I did a beanie in about an hour and 15 minutes. I added the cabling afterwards, but I managed to complete the whole beanie. And this is with uh, basic stitch anti-pilling and then Woolies Thick and Quick, which I didn't even use the whole thing either. Like I have this much left over from doing this. I'm gonna do a matching cardigan to go with this. So think, so be ready for the future video in which I'm gonna show you guys how I do a quick cardigan using thick and thin yarns, mixing them together. Now I will say right off the bat, they are, even though they are um, from the same family, they are technically different in terms of fiber content and fiber construction. The Cotton Fetti, oh my god, this is gonna be like a tongue twister every time I'm switching the names. The Comfy Cotton Fetti colorways are a little bit thinner, and even though it's cotton and cotton doesn't stretch, it doesn't have as much ease as the regular Comfy Cotton does. Uh, it's like very, very small, the difference between the two, and they both have a light twist to it, so you can actually separate some of these if you aren't careful when you're crocheting with it. But I will say it does, uh, it does take up less space, the cotton fetti stitches, as opposed to the cotton, comfy cotton yarn. So here right away you can see that the spacing, they're both double crochet here, but you can see that the spacing in the green is actually a little bit bigger than the brown and it's actually a little bit thicker. But I think I did not follow the recommended hook size. For sure, I used an H hook on the comfy cotton because it is thick. So I used a 4.5 with these cotton fetties and then I used an H hook for the comfy cotton. I mean, my review when using them is they didn't split. So if you guys are curious, they didn't split. I will say if you do have sweaty hands and sometimes I do struggle with that, they do get, uh, it gets a little bit hard to, like if you're not careful with your tension, it is quite difficult to like poke through your stitches when you're adding on to the next rows and whatnot. So that would probably be my only like uh, about the yarn is that just be aware of your tension as you're using it. And if you have sweaty hands, make sure they're nice and dry as you're using it because it will, it tends to like make this like squeaky, noise and it just doesn't allow your hook to smoothly go through the stitches. I mean, a good way you can just fix that is just have some talcum powder, rub it on your hands or, you know, be in front of a fan or something like that so that way your hands can be nice and dry. 
Because I've noticed that certain yarns, especially if it's like wool or something like that, or even, I don't know, I guess it's the dye that's on some of these yarns, it just makes my hands a little bit sweaty and it just creates added tension, added unnecessary tension to your garment. Yeah, it doesn't split on me. It didn't split on me, especially if I, you use the hook size that I just told you. And they actually played very, very nicely. I didn't really have to, when I was switching between the two yarns, I didn't have to skip any of the stitches or whatnot. I literally just went along as, as it went. I didn't add or decrease or anything like that. So they actually played very, very nicely. Too. And since this is all cotton, it has a beautiful drape to it. Beautiful, beautiful drape. And I made sure I made this nice and big enough so that way it reaches all the way down to my past my elbows and it's nice and big so it kind of stretches and if you do this it always falls back down to give you that nice silhouette but that yoke like i said i didn't want to compete with it so just let it if you're going to do something obnoxious like this stick with that and keep everything else nice and basic for those who are curious about how i go ahead and design and think about things as i'm working with it look at that i like it because it's nice and airy here so if it's like a good windy fall day you can actually get some of the wind to blow through and keep you nice and cool and up here it'll keep you nice and cozy it feels like you're getting a nice little hug i always think of when it comes to these types of capes i always like this silhouette where like you know if you're crocheting you're literally or if you're knitting you have your hands here and it kind of looks like fake sleeves as you're doing it so bear with me please but once i get my mojo going with the patterns trust me you guys will love 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 it um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. I just wanted to stop in real quick and show you guys this challenge that I did. Hopefully it inspired you to get some of these yarns. Like I said, they're probably on sale right now because it's getting towards the fall and cotton yarns are definitely the best for those early fall days when it's kind of still humid, but at the same time, it's getting a little bit chilly. Um, or especially here in Chicago, we do tend to fluctuate a lot in terms of hot and cold. So this is actually perfect to just have over a t-shirt or something, even a long sleeve, and you'll be nice and cozy for here in the city. Uh, I'm going to throw in some shots of me wearing this outside and everything so you guys can see what it looks like. But yeah, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you think. Which color is your favorite? Is it the green, the rainbow, or the nice and neutral brown that they have here? Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And a quick shout out to our Limon members. Let's go ahead and get started. Our Limon influencers, Karen Miller, Blanca Baltierrez, Cocktails and Crochets with Coco, and Corey Schlereth. Did I pronounce that right? Hopefully I did. If not, correct me and I shall correct myself. Limon Inner Circle, Ola Jo, the crocheting sailor. Thank you so much. And our Limon family members as well, Lauren, Angela, Amanda, Rose, and Lisa. Thank you so much, everybody, for your support. You guys make this whole YouTube experience so much fun for me. And I cannot wait to see you in our next live video. Thank you, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.